Guys, you may have seen this little girl running around the internet, but usually not on this kind of background. Usually she's doing something a little bit more interesting. For example, running from elephants. So today, we're going to make her do that. The way we're going to do that is to select her and then cut her out and add her onto the background with the elephants in it. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to use something called the Quick Select tool. Alright, so we'll go up here and you'll notice on the left hand side, Quick Selection Tool is here. Okay, so Quick Selection Tool is, uh, is done you know, by drawing with kind of a brush. And what this brush does is it is content aware. So it goes over you know, the colors that you're trying to select and it tries to select things surrounding that are also similar colors as well. So we're going to choose a smaller brush size. So we'll probably around the same size. Probably around, uh, we'll start with 15 and see how we go. Okay, so we've chosen our brush size to be 15 pixels. Excellent. So you can see our brush here. Let's start by drawing around here. So we'll left click and hold down and we'll drag our mouse around and you'll notice the selection getting bigger and bigger and expanding as we go. It's looking pretty good so far. All right, so let's let go and admire our work. Excellent. All right, so now we wanna add more to this selection. How do we do that? Let's hold down the shift key. If you hold down the shift key, we can click on areas and add them to our selection. So if you end up getting a little bit of the grass, don't panic, we can take that out later and I'll show you how, but for now, let's just focus on getting as much of the girl as we possibly can. All right, that's good, we'll add the glue stick and just keep drawing down her hand. And just make sure you release the mouse every now and then, uh, while still holding the shift key, of course, you can keep adding to the selection. We release that just in case we make a mistake, it's easy for us to go back without having to do too much all over again. Okay, so we'll keep doing that. And draw down the side of her body there, excellent. Okay, that's got her jacket. And we're just gonna keep going along. All right. So now these areas can be a little bit tricky, you see, because the colors sort of match the background, but that's okay. We can remove that. So what we're gonna do now is hold, is let go of the shift key and hold down the alt key. And we're gonna click on areas that don't match what we're after. If you make a mistake, Command Z to go back, or Control Z. Okay, we're just gonna do single clicks here. That's okay, anything that disappears, we'll add it back in later. Okay, great, that's good. All right, I think we need a smaller brush for now, so let's go up to the top left, and we'll choose a brush size, maybe, oh, I don't know, we'll make about 10 pixels, great, okay. So let's go back in here again. We'll hold down the shift key to add to this part. We want to get some of the hand here, a bit more of that. Looking good. Alt key to take away. Shift key to add. That looks good. We want to take away, Alt to take away and we'll get the thumb back in by holding shift. Didn't like that. Control Z. Once again, shift to grab the thumb. That looks pretty good. All right, now we have a little girl. All we need to do now that we have her selected is cut her out. So you can do Control C to copy or we can go edit and copy. All right, now let's open our elephants. So we go file, open, elephant stampede, yeah. And now all we need to do is go to edit and paste and there she is. All right, so let's move her into a more suitable position. We'll go on the left-hand side and we'll choose the Move tool. And we'll just grab her and drag her down the bottom right. And we're done. Thank you for listening, everyone. And maybe you can give that a go and see if you can get a better result. Good luck.